Hey everybody, what's going on? We're here with a timeless reading. Welcome. Okay, first card that we have out is Eight of Cups. Hmm. Interesting. This looks like some of you, you may be returning to something and it, you may be returning to something that maybe you thought that this can go a number of ways. What I'm seeing is that whatever you're doing currently or whatever you had just recently been doing, you could have felt like there was more that you were looking for. And it seems like at this point, you think that you're going to find it in revisiting something. So I'm seeing you moving towards something, but it looks like something that you once had or something that you have a sense of familiarity with. So it feels more like a return than anything. Because you feel like you're going to find something that you're looking for. On an emotional level, we only have cups here. But it can be something that like you're not sure but you're feeling like urged or guided in this direction Some of you, it's to make something right. Seems like in order to embrace something that you want to enjoy again. But something has to be done first. It's like you can't just walk back into this. Something may need to be made right in order for this to happen. But it seems like it's worth it to you. Because you feel like it's somewhere that you want to be. Or it can be like someone that you want to be with. There are definitely like emotional tethers here. So it would make sense if this were a person, but it doesn't have to be. Something confusing that's connected with the past. You may be trying to figure out whether or not something is over. Intention to invest, but maybe not sure how to work something. This feels again like a reworking though. But there can be a question about how to approach this. Okay. Some of you some of you, you're going to be the ones that are, you'll be approached by someone. Some of you, you're thinking about going back into something that's connected with the past, but something has to be made right in order for you to do this. But you think that it would be worth it to you because it's like, think about just thinking about somewhere that you would like to be. You just have to do something before being able to find yourself there. And to have justice, it's usually like, I need to recognize that or I need to apologize for that or I need to make this right or I need to approach it in this particular way but there can usually be like a rebalancing that has to happen happen or for some of you I'm hearing an owning up whether that be something that you're receiving or something that you're communicating with another person like bringing to the table this is about an investment but I'm seeing there be like it looks like there are a lot of different offshoots, like a lot of different paths, and you may be trying to figure out how to get onto the right one. 
Like, it seems like there's a lot of chance at play here. Probably because it ha probably because another person is involved. Or, like, something else that would determine things where you don't have, like, full say over what's going on here. So you're coming back around to move back into something here. Balance is important when it comes to how you're approaching this. It also feels like needing to get organized prior to, I'm seeing like a lot of, a lot of like stress or chaos or a lot to do before stepping into this new chapter officially. And this can just be like a lot of feelings too, or sort of like overwhelm even emotionally. Can be all of those things as well. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody that's gonna, this looks like it's for, from the, it looks like it's from the perspective of the person that's gonna be returning. That's how I'm seeing the energy, like from that vantage point. So I'm seeing this person, right? They're gonna come through and make a gesture to another person. So this person is like getting really, really like nervous before, or they're like, oh, there's so much to do before I start this. Like I have to do this, I have to tend to that. It's like they have a lot that's going on. So it's sort of like all of the things that need to be done before like the alarm goes off the next day. Like a lot, it seems like a lot of preparation or something like that. But I'm seeing there be this sense of balance. There's just also this feeling of like overwhelm sort of going into it. But this may just be like a natural part of the process where that's just like how it is, you know? So I'm seeing that beforehand. So that doesn't mean that... The placement of this is very important because this doesn't mean I'm starting a chapter and it's immediately stressful. This is like I'm feeling some stress prior to starting the chapter, but that's not necessarily going to be carrying over. It just feels like overwhelm right before doing something like like feeling like this is heavier. This is a lot like right before I jump in. It's like that sort of thing. And what the jumping in is going to be like what that looks like what that takes form as is somebody coming through and making a gesture towards another person. So it seems like they're coming through in a way where they're like, hey, I'm thinking about this. Hey, I'm proposing this. There's like a very serious way that this is happening, but there are also, this person is still trying to figure out how exactly to do this. They're like, I could do it like this. I could do it like that. They're just trying to figure out like the proper route to take in order to get this done over here. I do feel for some of you that this is somebody returning that could have it the way that you could have perceived it was this person was like the grass may be greener on the other side and now they're returning again because they found out that it wasn't. It feels very important that it's the eight of cups here. So this means that this person that's returning, like if you guys are on the for those of you that are on the receiving end of this. The person that's returning, whatever it is that they've been doing, they don't feel like they found what they were looking for within that. And that's why they're coming back because they feel like they're going to find that with you. But they know too that they have to make something right in order to actually be able to like get that back with you or be in that place with you. Even if it's like a new thing that y'all are creating with one another. There's an investment happening. This person person is just trying to figure out like the correct route to be taking. It seems also like a lot of other things have been happening as well. It seems as well like there's a very much more sure intention about what's happening here. Like there's a sense of completion here going into this new chapter where it seems like whatever was going on before that needed to be accomplished like before, before, if you were dealing with the person that maybe seemed uncertain, because we're having justice here, which is Libra, right? And what is Libra like, like known for? It's this fickle energy. It can come across as that, right? 
So when we talk about the archetype of Libra, people can be like, um, feeling like Libra is a little bit wishy-washy sometimes, or like, where does Libra actually stand with things, right? And we all have this energy within our charts. It's about figuring things out within our relationships and also figuring out the proper way to move through things and also trying to figure out what we want too. So it seems like before this person could have been like, potentially investing in things with you but then maybe getting distracted by all of the other options that they had and maybe feeling like so many things were in front of them that you felt like they didn't focus on your relationship and they could have also been in a spot too where they were like maybe this is going to do it for me maybe that's going to do it for me it's like you know what this energy reminds me of it reminds me of like the classic like archetype of you have two people that are in a relationship and one person is like really committed to the relationship but the other person is a bit of a drifter because they're not sure like what they want and so they're like maybe this is going to make me happy maybe that's going to make me happy because they're like not really ready to settle down yet it's like that sort of thing so it feels like maybe that's what was going on with you and this person but what i'm seeing is that they've completed that cycle like they've I don't want to say they've learned their lesson and have that sound like a negative connotation. It means that they've progressed with how they needed to progress and they're like, oh, they completed that. So when it comes to having clarity on what it is that they want to invest in, they're now at this spot where they've gained that sense of clarity. So that, that possibly fickle energy that you were perceiving them in before or like wishy-washy or like non-committal however it is that you want to label that as they have completed what they needed to complete so it's like they're done with that now i'm seeing saturn here so this means like for real they're done with that it means that they worked through it and that they they're much more clear on what they want to invest on and they're not so like confused anymore it seems like they were confused with options where they were like, maybe I want to invest in this. Maybe I want to invest in that. Maybe that's going to make me happy. Maybe this is the way. And it could have felt like their passions divided them and didn't allow them to sort of invest in like the main like storyline of your relationship at that point in time. And I do feel strongly because we're starting with the Eight of Cups that this is somebody that that is returning to something that before they may have thought the grass is going to be greener on the other side and now is coming back because they're like it wasn't so that's very very strongly what i'm seeing here for some of you this is your energy where you were like yeah i did leave it because i thought that something else was going to be better and now i'm feeling so nostalgic for this it's something that i really thought through and i want to come back and make things right so i can like enjoy enjoy like what i had or what i can have potentially with this person and that's worth it to me so this feeling of like making things right or like recommitting to something because it's definitely a coming back like this is a return for sure this is not somebody going into a a brand new relationship with somebody that they don't know this is absolutely a return that's happening and it seems like on the back of i don't know how long ago this was that it happened where this person was like grass is going to be greener on the other side for some of you this could have been 17 years ago that this happened for some of you it could have been a week ago you know like it that's the timing of it is going to be different for each of you for the most part but as far as what i'm seeing energetically here there's like a return back to this thing that now I've realized because they had to go through stuff there they this was part of their journey as much as those of you that are on the side of this where you're like well I've known that they were the one all along or like I knew that I wanted this relationship with them from the very beginning like from the moment that I saw them that was your your journey and what you were going through this part of it was their journey and what they were meant to go through so they were meant to connect with you. They were meant also to leave, to resolve things because they, if they hadn't left and thought like grass is gonna be greener on the other side, that means that they would have never explored this stuff and it would still not allow them to commit. Now that they've explored this stuff and they've completed it with Saturn here, this means they actually can commit now for real. 
even though they could have said they were committed before there was this thing within them that needed to be expressed it's like a route that they still had to go down and they could not go down that while while being committed to the relationship with you it wasn't part of their journey to be doing that but now that means that they are able to do that with you but it's not because they're it's not because they didn't like you. It's not because there was anything wrong with your relationship. It's that they there were unexplored things and like untapped things that they needed to explore. That was just part of them being able, that's part of their process to being able to get to the conclusion of being sure about what they want to invest in. That's just their way of doing things. That's just their journey of how this works for them. You had a different way of getting to this conclusion. This was just their path. And that just is what it is. It's not a reflection of you. It's a reflection of their journey and what they needed to play out. So now I'm seeing us come down here and I'm getting that it's like there's a lot to do. There's a lot that's happening and it feels like a lot that's going on that's setting up to us being able to start this new chapter and to officially like propose the thing. And this person being like, do I do it like this? Do I do it like that? Like, what am I doing here? There can be this question about like how to present it or something like that going on here. But there is full clarity now, like without a doubt is what I'm seeing, like no question at all. And that can be why there's, why there's this intensity leading up to this new chapter is because now there's only one route that this person wants to go down. And so like everything has been, oh, this is bringing me back to something. Hold on. It's like all other possible options have collapsed into this one way. And so now, what was unclear before is now very clear. What was all up in the air before has now all been grounded. And it's not even that I'm seeing everything in front of me um, and all the options. It's like now there's only one. As I said before, all of the options, they've collapsed into a single one now. And it seems like that's where some of this stress or anxiety can come from because it's like there's only one way for me now. So it's like that person that was so unsure before or so fickle before or so non-committal before or so hard to like tie down or pin down. Now they're like there, there's only one way and they think that it's with you. Or for those of you that this is your journey, you're like looking at this person and you're like that's my only thing that I'm seeing here. And now, so you've gotten to this conclusion where it's like, it's nothing else except for this. So now it seems very much like the person that was like sort of all over the place before is now like very die hard about this. Like this is the thing and this is the only thing. Like they're probably more sure than you are now. Because this could have even instilled doubt within you. If you were the one that you were, you felt like you were the one that was down from the beginning and they weren't because of how they played this out, it could have had you doubting things about your relationship with them and like how much they cared about you. But that's also about you addressing your own insecurities because this could have really brought stuff up for you. I'm feeling like intense, like pulsing pain on um, my, like along my right shoulder blade in the back. And now I'm not feeling it anymore. So this feels very much like you know, stuff that has to do with the shoulder blades, it's like connected with, it's connected with trust, it's connected with the heart as well. And moving in tune with that. So for those of you that you were like, I was committed from the beginning, and you had this happen with your partner, we'll call them, you could have felt like this brought up a lot of insecurities for you. So this was actually beneficial for you too because it brought up stuff that was already there for you. It triggered these things within you to allow you to grow as well because you needed something like this in order for it to be 
brought up and to address these things. Because it's not going to trigger anything that's not already there. It means that there's already stuff that's connected with this, that this would have just brought it up for you. So it's actually allowing you to expand and heal and to get to know yourself better. Now, you could feel a bit dubious having this person come back around and seem so sure about things, but it's being shown here that they went through a whole journey to get to this point of being sure. And they probably didn't even think that it would lead them back to you, but it has. And now you're the only option for them. That doesn't mean you have to like say yes to this. You get to do whatever it is that you want. But it seems like the only reason you might say no to this is your ego feeling a bit wounded. Because it seems like you were really into them. And that things did work. Like you did have compatibility with them. So yeah, if there is any part of you... Like this feels very much like reassurance for those of you that you had somebody that then like went off you know and did whatever else and they're coming back now this feels like insurance in a way of like they went through what they needed to come through so they're like coming back in earnest with you and they're also very nervous because they feel the weight they feel the weight of their process and how that impacted the relationship as well but again like that was just part of their their journey and they did very much grow and complete what they needed to complete so here they are now i'm seeing like for those of you that this person is coming back they're being very very direct with you about what they want like even more on the side of like i want commitment even though you felt like it was you before it's kind of like y'all have switched roles with one another a bit that's what this is going to feel like for you Okay. It's interesting too, like the only major arcana as far as like zodiacs here is Libra. So this person can have something going on with their Venus. This can be a focus on the Libra within their chart. It can also be a focus on the seventh house as well. All of these things. And I'm also seeing Saturn here too, which alludes to like what needed to be accomplished has been accomplished. And now the person feels very focused and like single-minded and very sure like that sense of clarity that like epiphany that breakthrough has now been achieved so this person is like now i know where i'm gonna find my fulfillment now i know what i want now i understand what i walked away from it's like one of those sorts of things so that's where we are now all right my friends we are going to leave the reading here i would like to thank everyone for connecting thank you for tuning in i am sending everybody love and i hope to catch you guys next time